take one keen. Come on, loving it. But out of his depth, DIY newbie. Can I help? No. Oh. You know, <laughs> honestly. Add some interior design imagination. Lovely. A posse of skilled workers. <laughs> And watch us translate those paper plans into reality. Wow. This time round, we'll be taking our time. All the hard labour won't take place in an hour. It'll be done in a day. In the next 60 minutes, you'll see tears and transformations as we help surprise an unsuspecting someone with a life-changing makeover. Thank you, you deserve it. Watch out. We could be coming for you next. Today we're in a beautiful sunny Liverpool to help Jo Symes surprise her husband Ian with a magical makeover he'll never forget. Now Jo just lives around the corner but before I go knocking on her door, let's hear more about their story. Childhood sweethearts Jo and Ian have brought up their children Matthew and Heather in the house they've lived in for the past 18 years. But the recession has taken its toll on Ian with three redundancies in the past three years. The first job Ian was made redundant from, he took really hard. Um, he was there for eight years. He made a lot of good friends. He had a full-time job where he was an IT manager and he absolutely adored it. Eventually Ian was told that an outsource company was going to come in and do his job, so he had to stay and train them. Um, which was heartbreaking for him. Sorry. The situation was emotionally draining for both Ian and Joe. It was horrible seeing him like that. From when he left that, it's been really hard for him to sort of have a value for himself, almost to sort of, to know he's as good as he is, because he hasn't been able to find the job he'd love and he's had to take much less paid jobs. Ian's been forced to take low paid shift work on an unpredictable contract basis and even though Joe works too they've struggled financially so although Ian's wanted to do some work on the house it just hasn't been possible. I think Ian has felt like he's letting us down I mean he's often said sorry to me and I've told him he's got not to be sorry for he's carried on regardless he's gone from contract to contract, no matter where it was or how long the travel was. So the family think this makeover could be a real tonic for Ian. When he lost his job, he was really down. I think it'll make me even happier. It's great to do this for my dad. He really deserves it. And I do want to say thank you to him a lot for everything he's done for us. Ian's out for the day, which means the coast is clear, so let's go and meet Joe. Come on. Morning. Morning. Boys, how are we doing? Morning. 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 Joe. Hello. Hello. <laughs> how are you? Fine, thank you. Ian's out for the day? He is. He has no idea? No, none at all. Does that mean the coast is clear? Yeah, very much so. See, I said, does he have an idea? The coast is clear. I'm trying to rhyme. <laughs> Do you mind if I come in? No, feel free. Come in. This is the living room. Ah. We spend a lot of time with each other in here. Yeah. OK, look, you tell me what you think the problem is with the room. Basically, the suite's been here since... Wow. 1860. <laughs> Something oh. like that. <laughs> since before the kids were born. It's very cool, though. It is. It's <laughs> very, very cool. I bet you it's very comfortable. It is very comfortable. I've slept on there many a night. <laughs> yeah. Is it a throw? What? What is this for? It yeah. is. Unfortunately, they haven't got the money to repair it. So that covers it up. Right. So it's not so sweet. No. <laughs> mm. OK. And does this really bother Ian? It does, it bothers him an awful lot. I mean, not just the suites, the carpet as well. We bought the rug to cover up how bad the carpet is. One of the main things he often says is he wishes he had the money and he could buy new things and okay. make it what it should be. 
It's nice that you've got a lot of personal photos. This is good. There's yeah, trophies the there. These are all Ian's trophies. Ian is mad about go-karting. Um, oh, OK. So a lot of them are all of his. So let me get this straight. There's four of you. There's you, Ian and the two kids. Yeah, that's it? No, my old dog as well. Crackers. So we need to provide a little bit for him as well. <laughs> uh, is there anything in here you want to keep? TV, that's Ian's pride and joy. <laughs> OK. And his computer. He uses the computer a lot because that's his job. He works in IT. And the kids use it an awful lot for homework. So, really, this has to be a multifunctional room. We need, uh, obviously, a living area for you all to, to live and feel comfortable, a nice office space uh, for Ian and for the kids, and, of course, we can't forget crackers. OK, so is this the only room that we're looking at today? No, our bedroom as well. Shall we go upstairs and have a look? Yeah, feel free. OK. Bedroom. Yep. Well, look, I think... It's quite obvious straight away you've got no proper wardrobe space. No. Uh, but tell me what it is about the room that you want to change. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> we haven't painted since we moved in. How long ago was that? 18 years. OK. Um, he chose a lampshade. <laughs> so when you woke up in the morning, did you think, oh, I'd really love to look at a hedgehog? Because <laughs> Ian likes it. It's definitely interesting. It's different. <laughs> I mean, look, the thing is, if you loved everything in here, I probably wouldn't give an opinion. Yeah. You don't like it, so I can tell you. <laughs> That's got to go. It'd be lovely to have a lot more storage and to have wardrobes. And the carpet's coming off its hinges. Carpet is yeah. awful. OK. It'd be lovely to have somewhere that Ian can just come at the end of the night and just sit up here, read, switch off, do what he wants to, just relax and be happy in here. Brilliant. Well, we aim to do that. And the Thank only you. way I can really start the whole ball rolling is go and introduce you to the team and to our designer. They're all anxious to get in here and start. So okay. uh, are you up for meeting them? Yeah, very much so. Let's go. So we need to upgrade the tired living room, making sure it suits all the family and the dog and separate the relaxation and work areas. While upstairs, we need to bring the bedroom decor into the 21st century and provide some much needed storage. Sounds like a job for someone with a lot of energy. Luckily, our designer today is Welsh whiz kid Leia Hughes, an experienced design consultant who's buzzing with fresh and funky ideas. She's going to be commander in chief of our team as they overhaul Ian and Joe's living room and bedroom. Good. It's all go. Right, Leia, Joe, Joe, nice Joe Leia. Hello. Hello. Nice you ready you. for us? I think so. Good thing. <laughs> Can you give us any info about what you're doing today? Um, we're going to have some texture, we're going to have a bit of colour, not too much. I've been told, I've been briefed not to go crazy on the colour. Is she right? She is. More, more prints than colour. Okay. <laughs> All right. Team, are you ready? Yes! Shall we get on with it? Yes! Let's do it! Yeah! Ian will be back later this afternoon, so the team have got a lot of work to fit into the time available as they revamp the living room and bedroom, which haven't seen a paintbrush in over 18 years. As usual, we start with chucking stuff out, but we're making sure that we hang on to Ian's racing trophies. Right, we're gonna we're gonna take this fella out, eh? Yes. You know she loved this so far. Did she? Oh, big, she reckons it's the you fall asleep, two minutes, two second job. So what are we doing with it? Throwing it away. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> just trying to. Just... Oh, we could give it back to him. Yeah. yeah. As you were. Yeah. As you were. Oh, as I was. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. We're not out yet. I don't oh. know. Going the out. sofa doesn't seem to want to go. The lads have managed to get it out the back door. Yeah, coast is clear. Oh, that's it, boys. But I want to double-check with Joe that she's happy to part with the comfy but battered sofa that the family have sat on for nigh on two decades. Are you sure you want to get rid of this couch? I mean, it has meant a lot to you guys. It's it been there from the beginning. Once it's Not in really. the skip... <laughs> all right. Start. That's what I say. Get rid of it. Hey, all right, done. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> done and dusted. So it's gone, but I'm still worried. I want to make sure that the kids, Matthew and Heather, are happy yeah. to say goodbye to it. You were little babies on that sofa. Yeah, Mum was holding they you like were. this on sofa, sofa gone. Are you cool with it? Yeah, yeah. it's hard seeing it go. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes things have to go, you know, and it's going to be a great brand new room for you, so hopefully you're excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Do you think Dad will get excited? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll like it. Phew, what a relief. <laughs> 
Inside, handyman Craig is measuring up the doorway under the stairs, which they're going to be covering with some textured wall panelling. Oh, ring us when you want to come out, Craig. <laughs> Come on, lads, let him out. There's work to be done. <laughs> oh, it's off today. <laughs> put your backs into it. There's plenty more old stuff to take out. Right. right, I think we need to put this to bed, guys. OK, lovely. Yeah. Any bias for this mattress? Can we sleep on it? You, I think you should sleep on it and decide tomorrow. What a beautiful day here in Liverpool, and we're outside Jo Syme's house. Jo wants to surprise her husband, Ian, with a much-needed makeover. Ian has been a victim of the recession, having been made redundant from jobs in IT three times in three years. His current shift work is low-paid and unpredictable, and even though Jo is working too, they're struggling to make ends meet, let alone do up the house. So, by making over the lounge and bedroom, Jo wants to give Ian a big boost. So, we'll go in, see how the team are getting on. Let's go. Now, Joe, 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 are oh, you getting busy in there? Uh, I am. Wow. Uh, working hard <laughs> already. The room is stripped it. bare. It is. It's very strange, very strange. It is a difficult room, isn't it? it and is. I think it's the windows that make it quite difficult. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. we've got a solution. Right. So, <laughs> we're working hard and we're going to try and utilise this space. Okay. So, we're going to try and create a seating area there. Oh, very nice. And then in where you had the workstation before, we're going to keep that layout the same, okay. um, but maximise the storage. There seems to be an awful lot of room uh, under the stairs there. That's quite a big storage place. What's going to happen with that? Well, it's a handy space, isn't it? It is. It's so obviously we need to keep, keep that. Okay. But what we're going to do is do away with that door. Yep. And the finish, and I'm not telling you what, that's oh. going on that wall, we're going to try and sort of marry it up, create a new door that's discreet and seamless. What about the TV? Because Ian loves his TV, yeah, his pride TV and joy, does. you said. Where's that going to go? <laughs> well, that's staying. Good. And um, we're going to keep it on this wall here. So you're going to give us any clue on colours? We're going to have some wooden flooring going in. So nice, durable, laminate flooring. Very nice. so, so, in other words, no. Well, <laughs> that's one clue. That's one clue. Are you happy? Yes, at the moment, I just can't believe how different it looks already, so... I feel emotional. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> we need to sort of leave this room okay. to let them get on with it, but can we go upstairs and have a look? Absolutely. Okay, let's go. Ooh, oh. space. We've got space. <laughs> how much bigger does the room it look? Does. It looks enormous. So what's the layout? We're keeping the same layout, actually, only because we can't fit the bed in that space. Yes. So the bed is going to be on this main wall. Yep. And very nice, as you walk in, you'll see yep. a feature wall. Oh, yes. um, we've got storage coming in. We're going to, again, dress the window to get a bit more texture and pattern in. And then we're going to create sliding doors and conceal all of the um, exposed clothes and bits nice. and bobs that you have. Paint-wise, remember, this yeah. has been here ever since you moved in. You're blending in, man. I don't know what colour you're going to use or paint or wallpaper or whatever, but let's just say it's not going to be this colour, it is, is it? It's definitely changing. I mean, yeah. terracotta and peach has gone. I remember I mean, when I first... Rid. Not in T-shirts, obviously. No, 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 it's nice. I mean, I've got a little bit of an accent going on there. <laughs> but in here, it's going to be calmer, yeah. softer, What's the very next step, a layer? Well, once they've finished prepping the walls, we're going to start painting, then the wallpaper's going up. She told us this wallpaper. You see, I, was, I knew I'd get it out of you. <laughs> Oh, cheeky, <laughs> cheeky. Oh, well done. And the storage is sort of developing as we speak. You're measuring it there now. Get it right, boys. <laughs> Leia can't keep her plans hidden any longer. It's time to reveal her inspiration for revamping the rooms. Oh. Beautiful. Very nice. What I've got is texture, so I've gone to town on texture in a way okay. because I was briefed that you're not too fond of too much pattern mm -hmm. and too much colour. And that was quite difficult for me because I, I do imagine. like a lot of pattern <laughs> and a lot of colour. So pairing it back, I've gone for a bit of a sort of gentleman's lounge stroke kutch idea. OK. Wow. Kutch is the Welsh name for hug. So in, in the window area, I'm going to create a bit of a, a kutch area. <laughs> 
um, which is the idea that it, it's cosy, <laughs> it's warm, and that's where all my pattern is going to be and my colour. Right. And then we've got this fabulous product. Um, it's going to be a textured wool, and my inspiration came from all these different textured finishes. Can you explain to me why the artichoke is there? Well, I love it. I love it. It's one of my favourite plants. You know, it's got this earthiness, it's very sculptural, it's masculine, but it's a flower. Absolutely love this colours on this. Well, the idea with this is to try and bring a masculine feel to the room. So I've found the fabulous wallpaper. It's sort of a Scandinavian sort of take on autumn leaves. So we have got a bit of pattern and a bit of colour in there. Jo, colour-wise, what's your favourite on this board? Um, I really like the, the purples and greys together over that side. I think it goes okay. quite well with each other. Well, that's good, cos that's two different sections yeah. of the house that you're liking things in. <laughs> Are you happy? I am very happy. It looks really interesting. It looks lovely. All right, and I love what you've done here. Yeah. It just to... Little yeah, spanny. Yeah, very, very nice. Oh, I'm glad to see, Crackers, the Spaniel hasn't been forgotten. Now I'm off to try and make myself useful. Maybe Craig needs my help. Hey, what is this, a door? Uh, no, it's not quite a door. It's a decorative panel. It's going right down the side of one of the walls. We've already took it in the house. We've placed it up. We've scribed around for the door. I've had to cut a little hole out here because we've got a socket, so we're going to pop the electrics through and mount a surface socket on. Can I help? No. no. I'm only joking. Oh, okay. I need someone with big, strong muscles, so grab All one right. end of it. All right, Let's I carry will. it in. I'll take this, Craig, yeah? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, don't work too hard, mate. Jeff, do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey! Oh, oh. That's it. It's like a little workout this for us, Pete, oh, isn't it? great, hey. Stop <laughs> there for a sec. Do three, three yeah. up. Up. One. Bicep curls. Two. Three. We've got some squats. Squats. One. Two. Oh, three. That's better. Fingers. OK, OK. Where's this fella going? OK, right up against this wall. Then once it's ready to go in place, an artistic bit of gluing. Yep, I know what to do with the glue. You know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, it's the it's sort of a squiggly, it's isn't like it? Like an 80s style. Like decorating pigs. Modern art. Quite creative, isn't yeah. it? He's an artist. You're getting good at this DIY business, aren't you? And this job's just getting better. They're letting me loose with the staple gun. My favourite this is. He gets gone happy, doesn't he? Now, just one thing, remember where the cables are, Peter. Well, a general rule of thumb, where the sockets are, usually the cables should either come up the wall or down the wall. It's illegal to go left or right, it must come up or down. OK. So you can go either side of it with the nails and you So what about this it. fella here? Well, that one there, we can see that the wires are going up the wall, so we're clear of the bottom, we can pin them in. OK, mate. <laughs> Honestly, That was good. He's really jammy, that Craig. That's the last time I help him out. I'm going to stand well back from the DIY now and let Leia show me how she's going to bring the masculine feel to the rooms. Talk me through what you've got here and where it's going. Right, so this is the new sofa that's going in. Yep. So quite retro, mid-century modern, a bit Scandinavian, light and bright. Very um, nice. I love the button details there on that. And then we've got these fabulous sort of scissors um, lamps. Oh, I haven't seen those the, for a while. These, these have come all the way from New Jersey, can you believe really? it? Really? Um, and, and they're really cool, really funky, and particularly because he likes kind of industrial, technical sort of Yeah, he's stuff. sort of got, uh, from what I understand, he likes sci-fi, he's into that whole science gadgets, things like that, so yeah. that's kind of cool. So they're a little bit gadgety and you can also dim the light and stuff on these. So um, Almost War of, of the Worlds type of look, you know, so, yeah. it's very good. Oh, and I'm going to close them just because I can. Hey, it's good exercise as well. There we go, oh, yeah, I need it, right. So well, that's What that. else you got for us? Ah. Artichokes. Artichoke I was wondering what that was on your mood board, thinking, what's she going on about with these artichokes? So, again, to go with all this sort of textured feeling, I found some lovely artichoke candles here. Again, it's quite playful, really, the theme that we've got going on. It's subtle and sculptural. You must be artichoking. OK. Yes. Um, and what have you got? Oh, I like this mirror here. Very well, careful good. with that because I, I will, it's specially I will be. I'll made. I'll hold it underneath. It's three Very components, nice. so you'll see here. This is the mirror, yeah. and it's going to be suspended by this lovely yellow strap, <laughs> yeah. leather strap. I see what you mean by adding the colours in. You know, you're bringing in bright colours, but in small amounts, like the red on the light and. You know, the greens and the yellows, they're just small amounts, not too, too much, because everything's quite 
neutral coloured, which is very, very nice. And then we've got the wink to the spaniel. I love it. I'm not <laughs> sure about this particular item. I am in love with these. I Why you don't really like this? Lovely. They're very classy. We've got lovely sort of velvet and sort of hessian and sort of the lovely leather detail on there. What do you mean you're not sure about this? Hello, I'm a clocker spaniel. I know I'm barking mad, but I think sci-fi fan Ian will really love those space age lights. Anyway, upstairs the team are really cracking on. It's goodbye to the peach as the walls get a coat of paint. And downstairs, the threadbare carpet has been replaced by some great laminate flooring. But outside, Leia's going to show Joe the top part of that textured panelling for the feature wall in the lounge. OK. What do you think? Um, not sure, to be honest. <laughs> not sure? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that! OK. Um... OK. It looks quite stark now, mm. but once it's in, it's got these lovely sort of like wavy, it's mm -hmm. a wavy wall panel. It's yep. made out of MDF and then routed um, into these different shapes. So hopefully it's got this texture, a warm feeling. I feel now I'm trying to sell it. <laughs> you don't have to sell it. <laughs> OK, but I trust, is it going all right? Yeah, is once it... it's on the wall, it'll really sell itself. Right. Yeah. And it's quite Great. easy to install as well. We're just going to cut it down to size, high impact adhesive on the back, glued into position, a couple of nails, once it's set, it's there forever. Right. It's not there forever. <laughs> if you really change your mind, you could take it away. I'll get crazy. I'm back to sure yeah. it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Well, I'm staying right out of that one. We're here lending a helping hand to Jo Syme, who wants to give her husband Ian a surprise of a lifetime with a magical makeover. Joe's husband Ian has been through the mill on the job front over the past three years, being made redundant three times. The financial difficulties have taken their toll on his spirits, so she wants to give him a real tonic by making over the lounge and bedroom. A little birdie tells me that Joe's not so sure about some of the stuff going on, so let's go and find Joe. Take her in and I'm going to say, Joe, just be honest with me, OK? Just tell me the truth. I might get some home truths. Let's go find her. Joe, just come with me. In fact, you know what? Matthew, Heather, come in with us. Let's go have a look. Now, you are going to be honest with me, aren't you? I am, yes. Not too honest, I hope. <laughs> layer, layer. Hello. Hey. God, it looks really big, doesn't it? Yeah. So, what do you think? I like it. Yeah? I was concerned, but no, I do I like it. Okay, wow. so tell me what you were concerned about. This, the panelling over here. I wasn't sure what that was going to look like, but no, I actually like that, actually. What do you think of the colours of the walls, the wallpaper here? I love it, really. Not what I'd choose, but I really, really like that a lot. It's lovely. What about you, Matthew? What do you think? Um, it's not. It's a bit girly, though. A bit girly? That's not what I would have gone for. But... No, that's really good you said that, because Leia said the room's going to be masculine. Well, it's a head and bone and there's a check, but it's taken a modern twist with a bit of purple. It's also a family room, so I've been trying to sort of, you know, keep everybody happy here, guys. Heather, what do you think of all this? Do you think it's too girly or too manly or is it right in the middle? Right in the middle, I reckon. OK, and how do you feel about all the colours? I like it because, like, the blue over here and the pink over there, I think it looks as well. Well done. No, five out of five from Heather. Thank you. Four out of five from Matthew because of the girly uh, situation. Jo. I love it at the moment. So what's the next step in this room? Next step, we've got a few just sort of cutting in to do. The shelves are going into this sort of workplace area. Yep. When's the furniture going to come in? No, we need no the window it. seat in, okay. so we, we're desperate to get that in. Okay. Then we need to get also the surprise. OK. And Ooh. that's it. Uh, what? The surprise? Surprise. Mm. There we are. We're not going to say any more. However, there is another room. <laughs> Things might be different upstairs. Should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's get moving. Close your eyes, Joe. Close your eyes, Joe. After three. You better open your eyes, Joe, because you don't know where you're going. <laughs> wow. You can open them. Oh, I like that. You have wow. new carpet, new oh, paint. This. Talk us through this. 
please, Leia. Right, so we've got the storage wall here. We're having doors all the way along. We haven't finished painting yet. We've painted this side. We've got drawers here. The telly is staying where it is, but it can be popped in right. to the storage and then all concealed. Wow, so different already. Are you happy with the colours? The... Just already, it's just it's lovely. How about you, Matthew? What do you think? I like it. I really like the design on the wall. I think it's nice to finally get a new carpet. I know. <laughs> I was looking at you when you came in because I wasn't sure why I couldn't tell by that face. No, I like it. You do like it. Yeah. And what about you, Heather Tuscadero? I like the wardrobe so I know. I it looks a, it's a lot better. Yeah. It does. It's going to be nice. It's okay. going to be absolutely lovely. So it's a big thumbs up for the upstairs. As the team um, crack on with the makeover, could this log theme wallpaper be a clue to lay a surprise in the lounge? But I'm escaping to the garden. Okay, so I've gone for sort of these pastel colours. Where Leia's got a job for Joe and me, upcycling some glass bottles into vases using gloss paint. And there we are, just like that. I'll have a few of them. Thank you, let's just Do this. paint some bottles. <laughs> That'll be great. No, thanks, Leia. Okay. And while we give it our best shot, I'm finding out more from Joe about her relationship with Ian. I've been with Ian since I was 16. Um, we met each other on a CB radio, talking to each other. On really? Yeah. We spoke to each other each night for about three months before we actually met each other. I often say he's not just my husband, he's my best friend. We're really, really lucky. We get on with each other really well. How long did you, you say you've actually been with him? Um, 22 years. Do you find that after 22 years, sometimes you forget to tell each other how you know, grateful you are to have each other? I don't, we tell each other we love each other more than once a day. All really? The time. We do. We're really, really close. That's so nice. We always do. So am I right in saying that Ian's you know, had it tough over the last few years? He has. He's been made redundant three times. Really? Um, that's really, really hit him hard. He's basically had to start back at the bottom of his career ladder, which has really, really knocked his confidence. And I think he feels he's letting us down because he can't provide for us and he, he can't have things the way he'd ideally like them. How have you felt? Um, has it had an impact on you? I think it has in that it, it's hard to see him each day going out to work to somewhere you know he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to yeah. go. Um, you know, you say goodbye to him each morning, but you know, you know, it's not what he wants. Well, listen, I know, I know how you're feeling, but just remember, you're doing something for him. You know, you're making a, you're, you're, you're actually doing so much for him today. When you get yourself in a rut, it just gets worse and worse. Nothing ever changes. And sometimes you just need that change, and today's that change. Yeah. You I hope I mean? he comes in today and sees this, and a big weight gets lifted off his shoulders, and he's... He can actually sit, relax and enjoy the house as it is and not sit there thinking, oh, God, I've got to find money to fix this or to sort that. Do you think he will think that when he comes in? From what I've seen of it so far, yeah, yeah. definitely. I hope today's the beginning of a new start for him. This is going to be such a wonderful surprise and Leia has something else up her sleeve for sci-fi fan Ian. She's commissioned a new lampshade for the bedroom from designer Sarah Angold, whose speciality is laser-cut acrylics. Once she's drawn the design on paper, it's transferred to a laptop where she works in a special format that involves something called vector lines. It's a series of programming codes that will tell the laser cutter how to cut so that when I draw a design that I can see on the screen, the laser cutter understands how to send the laser round to actually draw that and cut it out of the material. The completed design is sent to technical expert Joe, who checks it and programs the laser cutting machine. All the small components for the lampshade are cut from one giant sheet of acrylic. You can see the laser light moves really slowly, so it cuts everything really accurately to hundreds of a millimetre. And once the cutting is done, they're just popped out of the sheet. After removing the protective film from each one, Sarah can assemble her shade like a 3D jigsaw puzzle. I'm just putting the last component on now. This last piece is just slotting in the back here. Like so. 
and then you can see that I've got a number of cogs. It's an entire cog system that's now holding all of these pieces together. So now what I need to do now is make sure that all the cogs are bolted together. To hold the shade together, Sarah uses tiny watch bolts. This acrylic stuff is brilliant because apparently it refracts light just like glass. Then she's ready for the final pieces of the jigsaw. So these pieces here have been designed with a special hook that hooks through the brackets of this cog system here. It's going to slot in my final piece there. And the shade is done, it's ready to go. And wow. That is beautiful. Ooh. Mate, that is definite. Uh, do you know what? That is awesome. It's lovely, isn't it? Ooh. It's really subtle in the way it sort of catches the lights with this sort of iridescent sort of look. I love that. Really subtle. I like it. I like it. It's going to add a great otherworldly touch to the bedroom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Time for me to flex my DIY muscles again in the office area under the stairs. And Craig's obviously heard just how handy I am with a drill these days. Next one there. Oh, loving it. Also in the lounge, Leia's big surprise centrepiece has taken its place. Yeah. This sleek new fire should keep the whole family warm in the winter. Bet they'll love kutching up in front of that. You in? Yeah. Stu's been busy making a seating and storage area to make use of the space by the window. Absolutely fantastic. And it's a perfect fit. It's great. You've done a cracking job. Now, we know Ian loves his family photos, so Leia's come up with a great new way to display them. So, you're looking a bit confused here? Yeah, more than a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the idea that I've got is to sort of upcycle some old frames. So I've got these really cheap from sort of a brick and brack charity shop. And we're going to give them a new lease of life and um, with some lovely photographs that I've got off you. Yeah. And I've sort of done on some of them a bit of a sort of a vintage look um, oh. through a sort of computer software. And the idea is that we take the back off this and then we'll attach some sort of seashell sort of string all along the back, like this in line. So I think we'll go for about four down there. And then if you attach them with the staple gum okay. to the back of the frame, mm -hmm. are you still with me? Yeah, I am, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. And then we're simply gonna sort of just, obviously the back will be gone. It will reveal the lovely um, sort of gingham head and bone wallpaper. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna Click the pictures on. So it's changeable, it's not a static thing, because often you see frames in bedrooms or living rooms and they're very much static and the pictures, they're not up to date. Yeah. So with this, you can simply, if you get a lovely photo that you've just yeah. taken on the weekend or something, update your picture board and oh, yeah. um, have a little display. Yeah, okay. Do you like it? I love it, yeah. You seem like you like yeah. it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Now, there's something at the bottom of the garden that's caught my eye and I just can't resist having a go. Ready? Are you going to I bet this is something somersault. I can do better than Stu. Can you somersault? Yeah, go on. Oh, I'll do my first, yeah? Right, go on. Your go. Right, OK. Ready? Ah, well, you can't win them all. is not the word, ladies and gentlemen. Madness in this room. While the living room has been completely transformed, things are still going up. There's still shelves going up. There's curtains going on. There's photos to go up. There's a whole section over there. Upstairs, the bedroom, we haven't even gone. But it's all go, go, go. I've got to make sure everyone's happy. I've got to make sure Leia's happy. Uh, Leia, Hello. tell me you're happy. Absolutely, I'm very happy. Do you think very we're going to get it done in time? Because Ian's due any moment. Yes, OK, time is, you know, ticking on, but I'm happy with how it looks and, you know, it's coming on the treat. While the sofa is brought in, we dash upstairs to get the bedroom finished. We're getting there, we're getting there. Thank you very much. Amazing. Right, so I'm just dressing the bed. So is there a way to dress the bed with pillows and things like that? I mean, there's lots of different ways you could do it, but what I've done is, when I was designing, I've sort of 
got this wallpaper, the pattern, and then picked up one colour then within that, which was this sort of yellow line. Okay. Because it's light and bright, and it allows me to have contrast on my walls. Okay. So if you're doing that, so try and choose sort of a three colour scheme in a way. Okay. So you've got the wallpaper scheme, you've got then another colour, and then a, a different colour on the walls. It's very nice. What's left to do in here? Hoover the floor, somebody needs to do that. We okay. need to clean them doors, and then downstairs there's quite a lot more to do. Because, I'm not joking, it's like 15 minutes and counting. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you get somebody to get a hoover up? Is yeah. that all right? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. With the clock ticking down to Ian's arrival... Don't scratch the wallpaper. Layers feeling the pressure. To the right. A lot more to the right. Hang on, don't put anything in yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done that. Two minutes. Oh, my God, it's got in. Do you want that finished flush? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I said hang on. You did say what? I'm sure I did. I found someone at a loose end to do the hoovering upstairs. And I reckon I'm better off out of the way as the tension rises downstairs. Like, guys, we need this really yeah. in okay. the next five minutes because they're about to come home. Stick that up. That's it. Leave it. Okay. Shall we go back to No, that? no, it's all right. Just put that back up. So while I'm upstairs away from the chaos, it seems like a good time for me to leave my trademark print. <laughs> oh, yeah. The thumb bandit. <laughs> With quite a crowd gathering in the street, okay, it's time for me to go and join Ian's friends and family. How do you guys feel about? I'm looking about forward to see his reaction. <laughs> scared though. You haven't yeah. seen how it's turned out, have you? No, Nor have no, you. no, neither of us seen yeah. it. It Can't looks wait. amazing. <laughs> it's a waiting game now. And here he is. It's about a bit surprised. Have uh, you got any idea what's going on? Nope. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Come and see your family and all will be revealed, please. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell them all about it. <laughs> Actually, I feel like to You don't know why you're here. No. I'll just simply tell you that uh, your wonderful wife wanted to give something back to you. Uh, she rode into a show. The whole team came here today and they did something for you but it's all thanks to this lady and the rest of your family that knew for ages, and friends, and neighbours. And the kids. Yeah. And Very the kids. much so, the kids. And even Crackers knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> Confused, aren't you? I am. Good. <laughs> Good. 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 <laughs> this way. <laughs> this morning, Joe and Ian's living room looked as if there was little life left in it. The well-loved sofa was battered, the carpet was ancient and there was nowhere to store anything. And Ian's computer was jammed into an alcove. Now it's a cosy and stylish room with plush new sofa to fit all the family. Everything has its place thanks to the canny storage and the unused space by the window is now a great space to sit and read. Joe wanted Ian's computer area to feel separate and to be shut off from his relaxation time. So now it's enclosed behind a curtain. Layers added some great touches that Ian will appreciate. The 3D wall to reflect his love of all things futuristic, the dog-themed fabrics and some special framing for his family photos. I don't know what to say. Oh, it looks so different, the shape of the room. You guys happy? Yeah, absolutely <gasps> delighted. Wow. Oh, Joe, you were so <laughs> nervous today, weren't you? Oh, I petrified, yeah. absolutely petrified. You were so concerned about what Ian would think. Yeah. And, and his expression says it all. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I should introduce someone to you who designed it. Uh, she can explain everything to you. If you don't mind, I'll introduce to you the lovely Leia. Hello. 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 <laughs> Are we nice smiling? 
Thank you. Mwah. Are you happy? I'm delighted. Absolutely delighted. It's beautiful. Oh, you stand here and oh, explain everything. Are you happy? Oh, it's just... Wow. Well, the theme was a bit of a sort of a gentleman's lounge kind of idea, <laughs> but with a twist, and that twist was to be quite family orientated. And then the main feature was the fireplace, really. So when you come in, you know, it's warm, inviting, somewhere for you to relax in. Fantastic. Just around the corner there, we've created a desk space. We've got the curtain to conceal it away, so it's more of a lounge area when it's not in use. And Thank you've you. still got your storage under the stairs. That's a door. Up to you. Yeah, I was just going to comment on, on the wall. Do you like it? I do. <laughs> well, thank goodness for that, because she wasn't sure. No, no, I think was my sure. biggest, biggest concern. It's like, oh, God, you not going to like that. No, very futuristic, I like that. Exactly, that's what I was yeah. thinking. That's yeah, what I was yeah. thinking. Now, we can't forget crackers, because this is a family room, but crackers part of the family, right? Mm -hmm. If you went for a real wooden floor, you'd get scratches, etc., yeah. from the dog. So laminate flooring, then, is sort of covering the floor, and we've got sort of little accents. I don't know if you've noticed them in the corner there. Um, the spaniel oh. sort of cushion. Yeah, I love that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's so much oh, to take in all at once. The artichokes. Do you remember the artichoke on the board? <laughs> I've just noticed them now. Wow. And also we've upcycled an old frame and we've housed sort of all the little family pictures um, really, going really on nice. there. Well, as the pictures you can see, we're, you know, we're obviously a happy family and a, a very, very special wife who we need to be very thankful for. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you, you deserve it. More than I could ever have dreamed. <laughs> well, Ian, that's not all. Because... Joe and I and Leia and the 60 Minute team have been working on something else, haven't we? It's... Yeah, so I don't know if you don't mind, we've got something else to show you. OK. Just follow me. Before we got our hands on the dated bedroom, it was anything but peachy. That orange wallpaper just screamed last century. And the main problem in here was the lack of wardrobe space. Now, with the new muted colour scheme, the room has an altogether different feel. It's certainly a more relaxing place for Ian to read and sleep. And the bright new wardrobes and storage bed provide enough room to hide away all the clutter. Leia's also thought of Ian's personality in here, with his love of gadgetry reflected in the sci-fi influence lighting at the bedside and on the ceiling. <laughs> wow. I'm speechless. It's not like our bedroom. No, it's not. It's so nice. Thank you very, very much. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. It looks so different. No more clothes. <laughs> wow. Well, you've still got your clothes. No, I mean, no more. <laughs> <laughs> you just got storage. So we're proper to put them. I don't even know where to start the whole thing. It just looks like a completely different room. The whole shape of the room, it's like it's changed. It's bigger, lighter, brighter. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? When you went out today, did you expect to come home to a... You know, most people, when they come <laughs> home, they want to go to bed after a long day. Hopefully, you can now think, oh, my gosh, I want to go to bed. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've got one confession. As Peter's been calling it all day. <laughs> the hedgehog is gone. Hedgehog, yeah, hedgehog. <laughs> Ah. I can live without that in the girls' game of things. <laughs> can I, I believe you're into sci-fi, which I am too. I am. I'm big yeah, time. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was so excited because it's very sort of UFO. Wow. And I've just injected a lot of pattern and colour, really, even though I was briefed to sort of don't go overboard. <laughs> I hope by introducing it, it's sort of maybe introducing something new to your yeah, just... life and home, possibly. So, so different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's just, wow. No, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I know that Jo and I had lots of chats today and, uh, you know, Jo was telling me she mm. thinks that you thought you've let her down because you haven't been able to do anything in the house and uh, she wanted you to know that she's never felt that. I just want you to know, I hope you're now coming in and you just think, wow, and, you know, and what you mean to us and I don't want you to be sorry that you can't fix it and hopefully that's been took away from you. You haven't got to worry about it anymore. Thank you. You deserve it. Yeah, you, you definitely deserve it. it. Your wife can now wear the peach top <laughs> and not blend into the room. Uh, <laughs> the peach is gone. The colour's gone. So if it's all right with you guys, if we'll go down, see your family, see your friends, see the 60 Minute team, tell them what you think, 
uh, and we just want to say really on behalf of everyone thank you so much for letting us in your house we really appreciate it <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what a lovely couple they are. I mean, Ian was truly shocked. I mean, he didn't know what to do with himself. But hopefully now he's got a place that he feels he can relax in his own home and not have to worry about things that he has to fix. The team did another great job. Leia did a fantastic job. It really was one hell of a makeover. It's been a few weeks since we rebooted Ian's living room and bedroom, so we went back to find out how the transformation has affected his life. So one of the big things that I've liked, which has been a bit of a surprise, is the window seat. <laughs> We've all gravitated towards it much more than I'd expected. It's just a lovely place just to sit and chill. And then we've got the couch where we can all sort of sit and relax together, and watch TV. And we've got the fires to look forward to in the winter. To wake up in a bedroom with the beautiful wardrobe we got, which is you know, nice and bright and light. We hide away all the clutter, reflect the light. Yeah, love it.